Super Mario Bros. 3 walkthrough. I'm playing the Super Mario Advance 4 version of it for the f fact that there is a lot more places to save and I think that'll make making this walkthrough a lot easier. So let's just start the... Uh, maybe I should have showed that intro but whatever. Uh, yeah I got a whole new save slot here and I'm just gonna start off as Mario and yep this is World 1. Woo! Are you excited? And I just hit the R button by mistake which which oh or maybe I didn't. I don't know what I did what that made that button. <laughs> I, uh, wait, let's see, uh, no, L button, uh, wait, oh, it's, oh, it's a select button that does that, okay. <laughs> but yeah, let's just start, uh, the very first one, yep, we've got the classic Mario controls, hold the B button to run, A button to jump, you know how it goes if you've played a Mario game before, and the, whoa, after I did Super Mario Bros. 2, I got a lot of messages hoping that I do this game, and, uh, I just happened to have played through it fairly recently. <laughs> So I thought, hey, it would be a good idea to do this game, and uh, yeah, so, you know, since I already got a little bit of practicing and stuff like that, and hey, there's a hopping Goomba, isn't that cute? And fly up through the skies, Raccoon Mario! Yeah, if you get that uh, P bar up down at the bottom, well, you have the Raccoon suit or Tanuki suit or whatever you want to call it, at max, what will happen is that you'll be able to fly into the air like mad, and you can also break blocks with your tail. Woohoo! Oh, there's a P switch. Woohoo! Yeah! Go P switch! It's Super Mario World all over again. <laughs> and that's it for World 1 1. Woohoo! Level cleared, and I got a star. By the way, if you run into that panel at max speed, you seem to get a star almost every time. Sometimes it doesn't do it, but other times it. It does. I mean, most of the time it does. So try to run into that panel and try to get three stars because you'll get five lives out of it. So yeah, we're in world one, two now, and there's music change and it is happy and bouncy and all sorts of goodness is going on. Isn't there? A, yes, there is a P switch so I can go up there. I just remember that when I seen this court coin block formation here, and this guy is gonna try and shoot me meanly, which I'm not going to let because he only aims in two different directions. Oh, I could have got those coins up there somehow. <laughs> but whatever, we just kind of flopped down to the ground, which was kind of stupid. <laughs> and we did, well, I did that put me backwards. That was kind of mean of the game there. But uh, anyway, this is going to be a uh, complete uh, every stage of the game run. Because I love to show all the stages of the game, because it's just what I do. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I wanted to hit it like that so the star would go upwards instead of downwards. I just remember there was a star in that block. And star! Yeah, it's two stars for the win! Oh, and I might want to add, just as a warning, I suck even harder at this game than I do at Super Mario Bros. 2. So expect a lot more deaths to come later on the level. And there's a boomerang, brother. Oh, well, oh and I love these, uh, uh, these turtle shell uh, mazes, so to speak, you know, that they kind of break their way through the bo through the blocks. I always thought that those kind of setups are really cool. They have a lot of those in New Super Mario Brothers Wii, too, so that's, so I like that a lot. Oh, shoot, I jumped right into Boomerang. <laughs> 
And wait a second, this white block. Uh oh, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this secret. Hold down for a couple seconds. And just you'll, oh shoot, you'll plop right behind the background like that. And then you run all the way behind the black here. And one tooth on this whistle will send you to a faraway land. Open it with the A button. Or is it the B button? Oh, it's the B button. Okay. <laughs> That's one of the magic whistles in this game. You can use that to warp ahead to different levels, but of course, as I said, I'm showing you all the levels in the game, so I'm not going to be doing any of those sorts of warps. And I'm going to also get a box here, and hey, I got a nice to, <clears throat> leaf to turn me into Raccoon Mario for the future, in case I need it, and I guarantee I'll probably need it with my extreme Mario failage. <laughs> And uh, so now we're in an auto scroll area, so this one could take a while. These, I mean, those platforms fall out as soon as you touch them, so be sure you, when you touch them, you have somewhere else to land ahead of time. You know, so you don't make your blocks fly or fall away before you get to them. And there's the one-up mushroom. Oh, I went the other way. Why did you go the other way, one-up mushroom? I'm going to need you. Urgh, that's probably why it left me. <laughs> It left like a bad girlfriend. <laughs> uh, actually, I've never had a girlfriend. I don't intend to. But that's a personal preference. <laughs> but what, I'm kind of getting into something that shouldn't be into a Mario walkthrough. But I'm just saying that because it's funny. <laughs> and through here... Yeah, you gotta kind of time your jumps at some of these points. Like, so you don't fall to your doom. And so you can collect some stuff along the way. These early levels are, of course, easy because they're the early levels. I'm pretty sure you have to go down this one. Yes, you do. <laughs> and there's a boomerang, brother, and a star. Oh, I didn't get the star because I wasn't at full speed. I'm so sad. There's a dang flower, but I only got one up. I would have got five, five one-ups if I would have hit that uh, third star. So uh, let's go to the slot machine. I'll show you how the slot machine works. Line up the panels, total say. So let's go for a star. Oh, I got a mushroom. Freaking mushroom. Oh, uh, well, at least I can get two one-ups. Eh. Come on, slot machine. No! <laughs> I failed. Anyway, once you play a, a minigame, you can't play it again until you beat the game, so don't even bother. And now we're in the first castle of the game. It's all spooky. There's potables flying all over the place. There's lava. And there's also some weird kind of metal blocks, or maybe they're brick blocks, I don't know, they look kind of metalish, because they're blue, and I don't know. And if you fly, if you fly up there, I'll show you right here. Can I do it? Fly up and over here, and then press up when you hit the wall, and then open this, and you'll get a flute. Woohoo! For flutes! And I'm pretty sure that ends the level. Yes, it does, it, it actually, uh... It crashed the castle. I would like to re-enter that castle, actually. Um, I can't re-enter the castle. Poopers! <laughs> um, hold on a sec. I'll show you the castle in the next part.